Hi students, how are you? Hope you are fine. I'm Samreen. Today's topic is our topic hai, pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is also called the master endocrine gland because it controls the function of other endocrine glands. It is present below the brain. It is a P-shaped gland attached to the hypothalamus of the brain by stalk. Hypothalamus is the part of the forebrain. Pituitary gland has three lobes, anterior, intermediate and posterior. The hormones released from anterior lobe are FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, LH, luteinizing hormone, TSH, thyroxine stimulating hormone, ACTH, adrocorticotropic hormone, STH, somatotrophic hormone or it is also called as growth hormone. Next, intermediate release only one hormone called melanocyte stimulating hormone. Posterior secretes two hormones, oxytocin and vasopressin. Vasopressin is also known as antidiuretic hormone. Now we discuss the anterior lobe. Anterior lobe ka pehla hormone FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. It produces the sperm in males and growth of ovarian follicles in females. Second hormone is luteinizing hormone. It produces testosterone in male and secretion of female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. It stimulates growth of thyroid gland and production of thyroid hormones. ACTH, adrenocorticotropic hormone, stimulates the adrenal cortex and to grow and secrete its hormones. STH, it is a somatotropic hormone. It stimulates the growth of all tissues. Now the intermediate lobe secretes single hormone called melanocyte stimulating hormone. It stimulates synthesis of black pigment melanin in the skin. Posterior lobe consists, secretes two hormones, oxytocin and the vasopressin. Oxytocin is also known as birth hormone or milk ejecting hormone because it involves contraction of uterus during the birth of young one and cause release of milk after giving birth. Vasopressin is also known as antidiuretic hormone because it decreases loss of water in urine by increasing reabsorption in distal convoluted tubule. It also stimulates contraction of muscles in arterioles and hence increases the blood pressure. Thanks for watching this video.